internet, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So today I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to build these beautiful wraparound stairs for your shipping container home. Especially if you're like me, you got it up off the ground so the scorpions can't get to you. Plus it protects you from flooding and whatnot. But uh, you do need decent stairs. Now these are construction grade stairs and they still look marvelous. So if you took some time and built a premium stairs out of uh, you know, teak or some kind of water resistant tropical, ah, it would look excellent. Same day, still working on this project. Texas uses humidity like a little kid uses sprinkles on ice cream. You're at 100% humidity and then Texas goes, no you're not, a little more, a little more. So anyway, I had to change my shirt. So old Hank decided to hang out with me today. I suspect he's not feeling real well. This is uh, a little unusual. Blaze is out in the pasture. Old Hank opted to stay with me. You need your safety glasses on, buddy. If you're gonna stay with me. All right, I like this idea. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting uprights here. I'll bolt them right into here and the legs. And then uh, if I feel like there's a lateral shift at all, I'll put a two by four across here. That will tie it all together. So let's do that. Let's do that, Internet. Once again, the only pair of safety glasses I can find are the safety glasses that are black. All right. still open <clears throat> and if not I could dig out underneath I'm not worried about it leveling it now I'm I'm satisfied let me just get the pieces of lumber I need to get this job done same process back there then I'll look for my longer I've got longer lag bolts that I can use to go through four by fours so I'll do that <clears throat> I've got one little cedar scrap here, but I'm going to uh, screw a, a treated four, uh, two by four piece to the end of it like a foot, because uh, otherwise the moisture will wick up even faster into that. All right, on that <clears throat> cedar four by four that I'm gonna use, it's just an off cut from inside, but I, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little uh, pad for it out of treated. Simply out of a multitude of caution. I didn't cut all the way through because I didn't want it to jump and bite me. So there we go. All right, that makes me happy. Give it some symmetry. I'm trying to line up the bolt. <laughs> Since I'm building so rough.
You know, one thing that bothers me post-COVID is like, you know, I have one style of, of screw, <laughs> and then I go back to the same vendor. They don't have it anymore. They had it in uh, tan or a different color. I want black. So now I have to change to a different style of screw because they don't have it in black. Everything's kind of half-assed. They, uh, you know, like, I, how, why are they changing the patterns of the bolts? Probably because they're just picking whoever, whichever vendor offers it the cheapest, right? These big box stores. This is where Amazon actually, it's a mega store, but at least I, I get pretty much the same product every time. Now, I don't care. These are construction, right? So, uh, you know, I get that they're, uh, you know, that it's a construction grade. But see, the even the fitting, <laughs> even the head is a different, different size, you know? So then I need a, an, a not just different size, but different uh, pattern entirely. So then I, God forbid, I lose one of these, one of these heads. It just doesn't make much sense. It's aggravating. <laughs> I'm going to have to, all right, we'll put all the, all the one screw, five inch screws in first. All right, fine. That's fine by me. Then I'll tell you, change the Torx head and do a different size. Fine. I'm gonna like having these as wrap around stairs. I think that'll really add add to uh, the whole look of it, even though it's a temporary construction stair. Let me get my saw and continue on with this. We'll see if I make noise if Hank hangs, hangs around. I bet you he will, won't. Let me double check my stuff that I did. Ouch, heavy. Oh my gosh. Make sure I know what I'm gonna cut. Yeah. Yeah. Put on your horsey earmuffs, please. deeper this next time this wet uh, wet wood man it's hard to saw come on battery we should do it oh that's why I use the chainsaw You okay, old Hank? Alright, let me get my Asian saw. Poor old guy. I know. It's hard to be an old horse. And you inspect it, it all looks okay. Alright. As long as you're happy. So I had a whole bunch of bigger batteries. Four and milliamp. Can't find any of them. Have no idea what I did with them. Who knows? Probably in storage. This 
thing is just awful. saw blade. There we go. There we go. Kind of in my way, buddy. Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. It's a bit like having a three-year-old want to help you cook. While well, you appreciate the thought, it's a lot faster and you get a lot more done without them. harder for me to cut, I'll tell you that much. That's a, a jigsaw. Normally I take take the time to make sure I got the cup going the right way on the boards. Uh, this time I didn't, and so I'm going to have to adjust these boards to match. A little bit. A little bit. Man, Hank, this is you're really making this harder on me, brother. I know you're. Full of love and light and all that, but man, full of love and light. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You fell asleep by me. Did y'all see him jerk his head like that? 
I fell asleep. <laughs> then get startled. <laughs> All right. Well, that looks darn good, doesn't it? Really does. So let me get you up close. What I'm going to do is uh, none of the uh, big pieces are tied down yet, but I think we have arrived. Uh, so all of the pieces that are not flush to each other, I'm going to make flush, screw together, and then we'll go from there. I might scooch the top out a little bit before I attach it because I could see I'm uh, you know, I needed true tens is what I did and I, they ship them nine whatever, you know But I do think I want that out a little bit And there's room for me to do that So let me screw the top all together and we'll go from there So as you know stairs get a lot of structural energy on them as people come and go and come and go and stack things on them and whatnot. You cannot overbuild a stairs. You can underbuild it and get somebody hurt. But you cannot overbuild stairs. So I'm over engineering but uh, I don't care. I've got horses and kids and me and groceries and fork trucks. So I'm building with the idea that it may not just be a human being on this. It might be uh, 800 pounds of uh, concrete, right? So, <clears throat> I'm definitely overbuilding. And I recommend when it comes to stairs that you overbuild as well. Overbuilding is your friend when the stairs are involved. DLSR, that would have been a third, fourth big camera I would have broken. <laughs> well, it's expensive to be a YouTuber, and I ain't making a dime. Not a dime. internet <laughs> what did I do did I jam it right there oh come for goodness sakes beat sakes go dog it y'all let me do that <laughs> all right well that was a mistake I'll admit that Internet, did you see what I what I did with the Dagnet? Fortunately, I buy the two T25s by bulk, and I get them. Uh, uh, even though I'm a Ryobi guy, I get the Makita version. They last a long, long time. All right, now let's build.
running out of the black ones here and got another. Oh, what are you doing? It's the wrong size. Wrong size. And that's, uh, that's what I'll continue to do all the way down on every stair. Same process, I'll match them together however they align down there. Make a notch in them, screw them together. And then when I'm all done, I have pieces that I'll block in out through the corner. Maybe, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'll see how strong it is before I do that. All right, so all in there, super strong. Uh, nothing's screwed down, the top deck's not screwed down. I'm gonna run these three stringers. What I've decided to do with these, this stringer, the middle one is, I'm gonna go ahead with a scrap two by four down like that, and then cut this off so it can screw it to that so that the center will have a support. Again, I might put bags of concrete here, you know, 10 bags of concrete would be uh, 800 pounds. So, my stairs might not be the way your stairs are used. And then I want to make sure that I get all these bricks out of here because I don't want to leave a brick for a rat or mouse to make a, a nest on that. If that's true or not. So, uh, you know, I'll screw all this uh, together, but um, when all's been said and done, and I put the uh, tops on, I'll let the, uh, I'll pull that shim out. I'll let that do the adjustment, so. Go ahead and use this last piece of 4x4 that I have here left over. Could have titled this another lunch hour stairs, but I'm not going to. I like that little angle, the water will run off. That'll give a good support down the middle. I like it. I'll take a big lag bolt and run it through at an angle and get both of these and bind it to the uh, to this again the oak top isn't mounted yet <clears throat> I'll get around to it all right dangles in the air I'm fine with that though boards will weight it down 
All right. So there we go. Now you can see what I'm after with a wraparound porch. It'll wrap around all the way on the outside. And I do have cutoff pieces that I'll put in here to support it. So, and I'll round off those edges. And so this will be a nice, very comfortable city spot. Work surface as well as uh, interesting stairs to get up. Pretty, pretty pleased with this design idea. See where you're standing, buddy? I need to work right there. Oh, I may not fit. I may not fit. Hmm, I have some real long ones of these, and I need them. I don't know what I did with them. Oh boy, I'm going to turn you off while I go look. I don't think that'll work either. Let's see. Oh, real long ones. But I'll bear that in mind next next flight of steps. I'll make sure that I don't have to notch it so bad that I can't get a screw in otherwise. But I'm going to turn you off and I'll be back to you because it'll take me a while to find where I put those screws. My big helper went away. So I've got my, <laughs> I got my room back. Personally, I think Blaze probably came and picked him up. I think Hank wants a break. It's a little hot today. And it's the first hot day of the year. And I think he's just saying, man, it's hot. I need a break. I'm an old dude. Like I said, we had another horse that I think he was in his 50s. Everybody in the neighborhood cogitated and everybody had owned him. It was the funniest thing. His name was Uno. And everybody had owned that horse. And then anytime somebody fell on hard times, they sold it to the next door neighbor. <laughs> he was like, old Uno was like cash. He was like cash. We all... All sold him around. Anyway, he ended up with me last, and he got a retirement plan, and off he went. He uh, crossed the Rainbow Bridge with me. That's the hardest part of uh, the animals, really. Well, I guess the day-to-day -day could be, if it's not a good animal, it's a big chore, right? But if it's a good animal... Losing them is like losing a friend. I need my bigger batteries. Hey, I found my bit. I found that mystery bit. Let me get a real drill and see if I could just run that in instead of using the impact driver. What I need is a few more different size heads on these freaking lag bolts you know what i mean like let's put a few i've got four torx head star weird ass adapters god damn it five i gotta get five what does it say it uses fucking bits included damn it way at the bottom sure Man, that's what, you know, when you build a house or something, get all the fasteners at once because sure, certainly when you go back to buy it a second time, they won't have the same adapter. It's ridiculous. All right, I'm struggling with that. What I'm going to do is put some dish soap on it so it'll run in a little faster. You know, they're all made out of the same material. They all have the same size head here. And every one of them's different. Come on. They're doing that quite deliberately. You know, that should be standardized. Sell more bits or sell something. I don't know why. No idea why. Oh, so close.
minute she split it. That, that makes me feel great. Just what I want, a big sliver where my foot's gonna be. Man. What's oh, gonna be? Let's rotate this board. See, I split it before because the cup was going the other way and it got too close and it split it. Let's do the next stair run. See, that was the problem I was calculating would happen. As I get out, you know, this the, each one of these is going to be much longer. I don't know if I want to do that now, you know, because of the uh, extra lumber that it'll take. It goes from something simple to something not. I could still cut this out here. It's not attached, right? So I could pull it out and put a support here. We'll see if the door clears. All right, a design choice. I'm, I might have to go get another board if I uh, put the knots down. Oh man, all it is is knots. Oh, dog it. Junk wood. Well, internet, do you see what I'm up against here? Would you make that a surround stairs? Ah, man, it's gonna look good if I do. <laughs> I, I'm a board short if I do that. Man, I like it like that. It's it's worth going to get in the board. God dog it. I won't be able to finish this today, internet, because uh, I'm designed in place. Hmm. Let's do a mock-up like I usually do. See what we all agree on. How you would build it. How would you build it, Internet? That's what's important. It's mine, but I've got to get these views to keep my confidence up. i got to make everybody happy. And the whole world happy. I can't just build for myself. I have to build for the Internet. What do you think, Internet? I think wraparound stairs is the right idea. Look at how, I mean, even though those are construction stairs, ooh, they are really good construction stairs. As opposed to having a goofy spot, which originally I said, well, you know, I could sit there. I could sit there and I'd leave that open, but somebody will fall through, get hurt one day. I think I should just buy, there might be enough board right there if I'm careful. It might just, if I'm careful, I might be able to build this whole thing. Let's try it. All right, design decision done. Definitely wrap around stairs. I like it. I have some old off cuts from uh, other stairs. So theoretically, I could come in here and Beep those up. Not sure which way these would go. Not half bad construction stairs though. I really like the idea of a place to sit and all the way around. I think it'll really dress this up while I finish it up this year with Earth Bay. Uh, if I did the post idea here, it would still hit. Bunk, it would hit right there. Oh, I have to do the wrap around porch. Burying those cement blocks in there after all, aren't I? 
<laughs> uh, let's get the cement blocks out from under there. They're, they're not needed anymore, are they? Oh, I don't think so. I'll just be careful not to walk on it until I'm satisfied. better already those blocks still made it look cheap all right let me take a soda break or water break get back to you all right I'm back from break I have decided to uh, I've got a bunch of these three inch lag screws they're decorative I'm going to put the treads down now and uh, tighten everything up and I have this last bit of cutting that I'll do and then I'll figure out if I'm going to block these ends and how I'm going to support that and keep those from sagging and all that. But let me get this part done. Making sure that the legs, the runners, the stringers are all straight. None of them are cocked weird, you know, noticeably to the eye. I'm not going to put a T-square on them, but just when I walk up to it, I don't want it to look ugly. Let me zoom in here on this gap so you'll see what I'm doing. So see that that board that I've screwed down, this one, I'm stuck with it now. I've already made a decision. So I don't want that gap in there. So I'll adjust it over here, not ugly, but a little bit until this is tight. That's reasonable. And then I'll screw it down and you won't see the runners being off. So there we go. Don't mess up, Internet. You don't like it if you do. Yeah, good enough. It's got a little run out to it. I was thinking of rounding those corners anyway. A little more careful on this side of the internet. I can see you made, made a curve on that one. I curved it. It's all right. I'm going to curve all the noses so it'll look like I meant it. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. Internet, did you see any of that? I have to delete it all. All right. Let's finish this bad boy up. Seems reasonable, internet. That seems reasonable, and there's my little cutoff piece. Let's take it over here. Oh boy, crooked. Big time crooked, and right through the first surface. Oh my gosh, come on. I'm getting so tired, and I'm making mistakes like that. That's ridiculous. More than a more than a lunch stairs here. I started yesterday. I had to go to town and get a, the treated. I don't have treated lumber here. I have cedar when I cut it down, and cedar can still get beetles in it. So I want to treat it. Outdoor. That looks phenomenal. That is something that people could do for for real for finished stairs. They just have to figure out how to make the corners a little nicer. I'm 
all those lines even if they're a little crooked because they uh that matches the final edge and remember i didn't do everything square i did everything to match see the temporary post eventually those will be replaced there's there's some customizing in there so not everything's square but it's square enough your eyeball doesn't see doesn't see crooked and it's it's more practical right than worrying about square even worrying about level sometimes you just want to follow the lay of the land Well, let's do a reveal while I clean that, the stairs, and move the tools off of it. I still need to add additional screws to everything, but let's get it, let's look at it. Walk on a little bit. Think about this decision making. Do you think that we could have made this, uh, definitely could use it for your final fit and finish stairs. You really could. throw all my little bits right in here don't let me forget internet where I put them put all the bits right in there not a half bad ad hoc design I think in flight no sketch no sketch design how about that no sketch stairs I do draw I used to draw more before my got a shake in the hand that's so bad Man. Look at that internet. Doesn't that feel and look wonderful? That looks really good. Really good. Now, see, I can cut these doors in, cut them down to size, cut that pipe or that uh, log at the top, get them all in, get the molding in there, the weather stripping. And that looks good. Yeah, that looks real good. There you go. So the only thing I need to do is figure out each corner, how to reinforce it. And, uh, you know, it, it should theoretically be okay because uh, it's one third what you can dangle. But I would suspect that if I step here a lot, see how the spring is? That's it's got a little spring that one doesn't and that one doesn't at all. So it's just a bottom one Just a bottom one that needs some reinforcing Open those doors up. They glided perfectly over it. Let me close one so you can see I feel like control of the doors I feel in control of this area. Now, I can't put a chair here because this will swing out, you know. So it's, it can't get cluttered. I couldn't put stuff here. But uh, for stairs up against the back end with a door, man, that's... And these are temporary. I could pick them up with the fork trucks and drive them right out. Give you that clearance there so you can all feel that ooh. That clearance is the ooh. Look at that clearance. Everybody go, ooh. Ah, that's satisfying. That's satisfying. Yeah, that's good stuff. Well, Internet, I'm pretty happy with these stairs. And uh, you can be too if you've got a container home you're building. Like, subscribe, follow me along. This was more than a lunchtime build. This was a couple, two, uh, two lunchtime builds. Two hours is what this took me. Uh, to build, not including running to get the lumber. Two hours. So, cost, I'm going to guess uh, there's $300 worth of wood here, not including the pallet, which came free with the tile that I bought. So, whatever the pallet would be. That's oak and steel framed. So, excellent. Like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.